Hello kids. This book is titled Star Wars OB-1-2-3 The Galactic Basic Edition. Let's go. OB-1-2-3 Come here, my little friend. Don't be afraid. Welcome to an adventure in rhyme and space. One. The Jedi had a legend, an ancient one, of course, that told of a special someone who would bring balance to the Force. Not a handful of chosen somebodies, not a few, not a bunch, not a ton, just a single particular Skywalker, just Anakin, just one. 2. A desert planet on the outer rim, Tatooine is dusty, gritty and grim. Everything's parched and thirsty and dry, from the searing earth to the glaring sky. Why, you may ask, oh, how can this be? Just look up to the sky and you will soon see. It's those two blasted suns, all round and white hot. They're to blame for this heat, but oh, what a shot. Three. The galaxy is full of remarkable creatures. Amazing, beautiful, and rare. But Rathas are just plain awful, despite their obvious flair. These tentacled beasts do only one thing, and that's gobble up whatever's in sight. So with three of them now on the loose, Ray and Finn are in for a fight. 4. With his four metal arms, all whirring and twirling, General Grievous can fight any foe. This sinister cyborg is feared through the galaxy. He's someone you don't want to know. But even his four spinning sabers of light are no match for Obi-Wan's prowess. In a deadly duel, the Jedi at last put an end to Grievous' malice. Five, over the snowy horizon of Hoth, five Imperial walkers appear. They are mechanical monsters, mighty machines, even Wampus know to stay clear. But brave Luke Skywalker has a plan to end these Imperial gimmicks. As it turns out, defeating an 8080 just takes a little physics. Six, the floating cloud city above Bespin is home to many a strange creature, including the little Ognots, whose noses are not their best feature. But these six ugly Ognots sure know their stuff, and that is why they have been chosen to perform a key task for the Empire to make sure Hans gets frozen. Seven. The Mos Eisley Cantina is not the greatest gig around. The crowd is pretty rowdy and lost limbs litter the ground. But these seven musicians are just looking to jam. So they'll answer any ad and when the modern notes play their cherry tune, the cantina doesn't seem so bad. Eight. Eight little Jawas, all in a pack, excited by their loot, for finding treasure on Tatooine is by far no easy pursuit. So they carry it along over the dunes and across the white hot sand. Don't blame them, that's just what it takes to get by in this desolate land. 
9. Amidala, queen of Nabu, had nine handmaidens, loyal and true. Eight were selected to keep one protected. The queen was disguised as one too. Ten, imperial officers numbering ten, all sat around a big table. There wasn't a lot that could scare those bad men, but that day Darth Vader was able. The imperial officers didn't agree on the best way to beat the alliance, so Darth Vader decided to make them all see that he didn't enjoy their defiance. Using his powers, he squeezed one of the ten quickly into submission. His goal was to demonstrate clearly to them that the Force was no ancient religion. 11. 11 X-Wings led by Poe Dameron skillfully fly into battle. Their attacking TIE fighters and the Starkiller base and the structure is starting to rattle. With one final shot, the resistance succeeds and the planet is gone in a flash. But the blinding white glow simply lights up the pilot's victorious dash. 12. In the days of old, the Jedi stood for all that was noble, strong and good. Steeped in the Force and wise beyond years, the Jedi quieted everyone's fears. Leading this army of virtuous teachers was the Jedi Council, a wide range of creatures. Twelve individuals of all different species would meet and discuss various treaties. On the last Jedi Council before their great fall, sat short little Yoda and Windu the Tall, and ten of their cleverest brothers and sisters, Alice, they're now spoken of only in whispers. 13. Silent, giant ships in dust, like ancient mountains standing. Ray weaves her way through all thirteen, her sharp eyes always scanning. She's searching for parts to sell or to trade for a day's portion of food. Through X-Wings and Y-Wings and Fallen Destroyers, a long-lost multitude. 14. Lumbering, wheezing, huge and hairy. These 14 banthers are far from scary. Sure, they are smelly and not very clean, but they're also oh helpful, so who needs hygiene? 15. On Endor's small forest moon, the Ewoks prepare for war. With slingshots and trip lines and possibly landmines, the Empire has no idea what's in store. A group of 15 takes out its wrath on a slew of white armored thugs. All on their own, with no help at all, the Ewoks crush them like bugs. Not bad for little furballs, you've got to give them credit. After all, they saved the rebellion, and the galaxies won't soon forget it. 16. A Jedi and a Padawan clutch their weapons tight. They've been training all their lives for this, they're bracing for a fight. 16 battle droids attack with heavy blaster fire. But for Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn, it's really not so dire. 17. 17 Gamorrean guards line a hallway in Jabba's palace. Tusks and green and horn and mean, they are as gross as Jabba is callous. One thing is for sure, these guys are glad to be guarding this particular isle. Their friend had a job near the Rancor, but 
They haven't seen him for a while. Uh oh. 18. The crowds have arrived. The stands are packed. They are ready for a show. 18 pot races power up. A gong rings out. They are ready to go. Anakin has a faulty start, but then he's off with a blast. Through the desert, he zips and weaves. He's in the lead at last. Not even Salboba's dirty tricks can keep Anakin's fate at bay. He was always meant to win, you see. The force is strong with him, they say. 19. 19 patrons fill Mars's castle, and oh, what an interesting mix. Thieves and pirates, smugglers and spies, all visiting for kicks. Just don't step out of line here, folks. Muscantana is the judge. She's lived for over a thousand years. You don't want her holding a grudge. 20. Stormtroopers travel in packs of 20, in transports to be precise. The transport aren't so comfortable, but most stormtroopers aren't so nice. When the heavy ships land, the troopers inside race right into battle. But one of them doesn't seem eager to be there. FN2187 looks a bit rattled. The stormtroopers do as they're told. 19 of the 20 dive in. But the one who stands apart from it all is the one who will soon be called Finn. You disappoint me. We are at the end of the book, and not once did you count Dooku. Much to learn you still have, hmm? <laughs> The end. One, two, three, four. Counting with Star Wars is hardly a chore. From the chosen one to a transport of twenty, this book is full of numbers aplenty. So Padawans, prepare. Get ready, get set. For a numerical lesson you'll never forget. The end. Obi-123. Bye-bye, kids.